Hello students. In this session, we will be discussing about the science project and the assignments. As you know that you will be getting the summer break. So, these assignments and the projects you have to complete during your summer break. But before that, let's have a look on the chapters that we have studied till now. Do you remember which was the first chapter that we have studied? The first chapter that we studied was food, where does it comes from? In this chapter, what were the topics that we have studied? First, we have seen how food is the important source of energy for our body. How food is helpful? Food helps in our growth and development. It provides energy to our body. It keeps our body healthy and prevents us from various diseases. Isn't it? Then we have seen the two important sources of food. From where do we get our food? What are the two important sources of food? The plant and the animals are the two important sources of our food. Then we have seen According to the eating habits of the animals, animals are classified into three groups. What are the three groups in which animals are classified? Herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. We have seen the different examples also. Then the second chapter we have started. It was components of food. We have seen as food is very important to us. Food provides us with all the essential nutrients that are required to our body. When we will get all the essential nutrients? If we consume a proper balanced diet, all the nutrients that are essential for our body will be provided to our body with the proper balanced diet. What are the different components of the food? Our food consists of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, dietary fibers. Isn't it? We have seen the different examples in this chapter, we have also studied about the test for carbohydrates, fats and proteins. I hope you are able to recollect all the points that we have studied. After that, we have started with the chapter 4 that is sorting materials in two groups. We see that the different objects are present around us. The objects can be made up of different materials. We have seen the gel can be made up of plastic, wood or even a metal. Isn't it? Or the different materials can be used to make the different objects. We have also seen why grouping is necessary. Grouping is necessary for our convenience. Grouping can be done in many ways based on the size, shape, color or even the properties of the materials. We have seen the different properties of the materials. What were the different properties that we have studied? The first property that we have studied was appearance. Based on the appearance, the materials can be classified as lustrous and non-lustrous. What is lustrous? The materials which possesses shine are lustrous and the materials which appears dull are non-lustrous. We have seen the different examples as metals are lustrous, wood is non-lustrous, 
after that we have studied the hardness based on the hardness the materials are also divided into two groups soft and hard we have seen the solubility some materials are soluble and some are insoluble miscibility and we have also seen that some of the materials have the property to float and some get sink isn't it i hope these points you understood after that we have started with the chapter 5 that is separation of substances the mixtures can be separated using the different methods we have seen the various methods of separation what were the different methods that we have studied hand picking threshing winnowing evaporation filtration decantation sedimentation these were the methods that we have studied to separate the different substances then at the last we have studied the chapter 3 that is fiber to fabric we have seen that the cloth is made up of different fabric from where do we get the fabric we get the fabric from fibers and from where do we get the fiber the fiber are of two types natural fiber and synthetic fiber what are natural fibers the fibers that we get from plants and animals are known as natural fibers what are the example wool cotton jute silk are the natural fibers and what are synthetic fibers the fibers that are made by using different chemicals are known as synthetic fibers what were the example of synthetic fibers polyester nylon then we have seen that the fibers are converted into yarn by spinning process and by weaving or the knitting process the yarn is converted into fabric isn't it i hope all these chapters are understood to you and in some days you will be getting the notes of these chapters now let's have a look on what project you have to make there are two topics first topic is you have to make a balanced diet working wheel model for the healthy life and the second topic is you have to prepare a weekly diet plan for yourself now how you will make the balanced diet working wheel model for making this there are some requirements what you will require is cardboard a screw to rotate the cardboard four lids of bislery or any other bottle the colors pen pencil scale compass and sketch pens Now let us see how you will be making the balanced diet wheel. For making a wheel, you will require cardboard. Take a cardboard that is available to you. Now, on a cardboard, make a circle of ten centimeter and make a hole at the center of the circle. Now, take the white paper or any other colored paper. that you have to use and make the circle of 10 cm on it now stick this paper on the cardboard after you stick that paper on the cardboard draw a circle of radius 8 cm on the same cardboard 
Now, with the help of pencil and scale, divide the circle into five sections or the five different parts. See how it is drawn in the image. After this, you have to color the edge of the circle with the different colors. Any color you can use to color the edge of the circle. After this, you can stick or draw the pictures whatever is convenient to you. Of in, the fun, in the first section, you draw or stick the pictures of fruits and vegetables. In the next section, grains, cereals and potatoes. In the third section, dairy products. In fourth, meat, fish, egg. And in the last section, fat and sugars. Now, on the plain paper, write all the five components of the food that we have drawn on the cardboard. You have to use the bullet of the specific, same bullet color of the specific color which we have used in each of the section. Like for fruits and vegetables, if we have used the red color, the same colored bullet you have to draw on the plain paper. Likewise, you draw all the five bullets with the same color. After that, stick this paper to the left side of the square cardboard. You have to take the another cardboard and stick that paper on the left side of the cardboard. Now, you have to attach the four bottle lids at the corner of the opposite side of that cardboard. After this, attach one arrow below the circular cardboard with a screw. Now, put that the circular cardboard and assemble on the plain cardboard. The diet wheel is ready. The second topic is, you have to prepare a weekly diet plan for yourself. You will be preparing the diet plan for yourself. What you have to do in this project is, you can use any rule paper or the plain paper that is available to you. And for a week from Monday to Sunday, whatever you eat in a day, that is during your breakfast, lunch and dinner, you have to write that. You make your project as colorful and decorative as you can with the materials that are available to you. So, we will continue after the summer break.